Hi guys, it's the Wodinski and today I've got a bit of a uh, ragey video for you. I'm going to be talking about my final opinion of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, you may think, oh and I just want to apologise for the gameplay, it does, for some reason it bounces my like, looking side to side look like that, yeah but it's a bit weird, sorry about that, but yeah, back to it. You may be thinking the game hasn't actually finished yet because I play on PS3, we've still got the final DLC to come out. And uh, that's what I kind of want to talk about. Ooh, I don't really care about the final DLC, to be honest. I don't really want to play the game anymore. I can't wait for Call of Duty Ghost. It's going to give me a Call of Duty I can play that's not Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, or Quad 4. Because I, I, just, I just don't like it. They did, they did so many things, in my opinion, that were wrong. It was like, it was so dickhead friendly that it was really easy to be a dick on that game. The LMG target finders, just some of the guns that you could use, like the PDW, yeah it was a good gun, you don't have to use it all the time though. The Remington, yeah it was a good gun, you don't have to use it all the time though. Get out of your ass. And like, the, the, the target finder LMGs, it's just like, really? Really? You really want to sit there for a whole game, just aim somewhere with the gun finding the enemies for you to shoot at? And they're an LMG as well, so you don't have to let go of the trigger. So you can just literally fire forever and ever without running out of bullets. Some of the people that played the game and chose to play it like that were just so ridiculously stupid. Like, some people are, like, really, really bad. Like, you get people that have, like, a 0.7 KD. And why do you sit, why do you play the game if you're that bad? Because if you want to, because I like to play like with the team. I want to win the objective. I want to win the match. Because I usually play domination and stuff. So that's how I help out with the team and stuff. I'm I want to win the match. And you just got these idiots that are just like sat in a corner or something. And they've got they're just re why do you play if you're gonna do that? Play TDM. Yeah, so enough about the players and the guns. The maps, the maps were crap. I like the maps to be slightly realistic. I like, as you see the map I'm playing on right now. It's not the most realistic thing in the world, but at least it's not bright pink and blue and everything. Set in the future, yeah, but the future's not going to be that retarded and bent, is it? Everything's not going to be pink and light blue. But yeah... So the maps were horrible, I didn't enjoy any of the maps. The spawns on the smaller maps were absolutely dreadful. Like, I've... I can, uh, what was it, the uh, Oasis, is it Oasis, the one on the island? I get better spawns on COD 4 shipment than I do playing on friggin' Oasis. The spawns are so stupid, I'd literally be running and somebody will either spawn in front of me or I'll die and spawn in front of someone else. And it's like, really, why, why have you done this? Why have you made this map so badly? It's like, what is the point? So yeah, as we're in a pretty, I'll talk about the kill streaks. Now the kill streaks were crap. It required an eight kill streak or whatever to get uh, on domination, roughly like an eight kill streak to get a lightning strike, which is equivalent to an air strike. Yeah, it was a bit more powerful, but still, it's not really worth an eight kill streak. As you can see here, I can get a reaper, which is the equivalent to a lodestar in eight kills, but on. Uh, I got to see the load star costs like something like ridiculous, like 16 kills or something ridiculous if you work it out by literally just getting regular kills. It's like, yeah, the load star fires faster than the Reaper, but you d it's not worth using. The, the high score streaks aren't really worth using on that game. It's just like, you can get a Moab on this game, and that's like a huge accomplishment. You can get a Swarm, which is basically equivalent on that game. But it's a kill streak. It's not nothing special. It, the Swarm kills you. You get killed by the most overpowered kill streak you can get. It's so stupid. They made the best kill streak in the game worse than the second best. Why have you? Uh, it's just really annoying. So yeah, off of the kill streaks. What else have I got to talk about? Uh, well, the DLC. Uh, the DLC maps have been a bit crap. I don't like how they did it. I preferred how they did it on uh, Modern Warfare 3 with the once every month. I have to wait four months to get it well like three months to get a new map pack and then I have to wait a month on PS3 to get it same with PS4 will be next year but I don't really mind because I'll be actually enjoying the game and uh, the zombies now zombies in my, uh, my opinion has been killed I I absolutely hate it we usually only buy we only get the uh, DLC maps uh, so we can play zombies me and my mates and the zombies are crap it's like how can you take something that's been that successful and kill it in one game 
Uh, that is astonishing. Made it too complicated and really hard, so it's not very enjoyable for anyone. Whereas on like Kino, you could just like run around and play zombies. On this, you've got to build a plane, go somewhere. Otherwise, hordes and hordes and hordes of zombies will come and kill you, even on easy mode. It's oh, it's just so stupid. I can't believe what they did to zombies. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like on the next uh, Treyarch game if they do carry on with zombies and see how crap it is there. But yeah. What else is there I can talk about? Um, well, I'll talk about Ghosts. Ghosts looks like a good game because they've actually innovated and tried to do something different instead of copying Modern Warfare's ideas like um, Treyarch Cab. Uh, the guns look awesome because you've got the new Marksman Rifle class thing that looks sweet. And on this game, the equivalent to that is a foul, which they had to nerf like 20 times. Oh, that's another thing. They had to patch the game all the time because so many people were having problems with it. How many patches were there on COD 4? It was like seven. How many patches have there been on this game? It's like 20,000. It's so stupid, and it's it really gets me annoyed sometimes that they can cash in on all these players with such a terrible game. Um... The prestiging, I got to prestige 10 in like 5 day game time and um, prestige 10.55 and I didn't even do that with the 8 day game time in Modern Warfare 3, there was a lot more playing time that which meant that you could enjoy the game a lot more. I personally hate the prestige master thing, it makes you stand out in the lobby and people, if if you're a prestige master and you've got, they'll look at your KD sometimes and they will back out they actually will if you if your KD is relatively good they'll back out and it also stands for nothing because there's people that have been messaging me to try and join the clan they're like I'm a prestige master and my KD is 0.71 I'm like what how do you manage that what is your game time so yeah ranty video on Black Ops 2 my final verdict didn't enjoy it I can't wait for go so I, have, I won't be playing much Black Ops 2 anymore and yeah, sorry for a ranty video, but I wanted to do it. So my name's been the Wadinsky. If you enjoyed this video, share my views. You can leave a like. If you've got a different view, you can leave a comment. And I'll get back to you. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.